Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the part 2 of decomposition tree. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. In December 2019, it is this month Microsoft has released the new version in decomposition tree and they have given lots of changes in the formatting option let's have a look at those things i have this decomposition tree in that i'm going to analyze the profit by segment region category and subcategory this as usual let's go to this format tab in this we'll start from the tree the tree is the density is sparse or dense it is a short what is default? There is much space between them, and P is part. It has a huge difference between these two. The primary color is for the underline of the category on the top, as well as the actual link between all these categories. And rest of the categories which is interconnected but is not the user selected, it is highlighted as in this color. You can even customize this color and connector type is the default or round, it's just the design of it. The default is look good, and then the data bars if it is positive, I have selected green, if it is negative, I have selected red. If it is what is the background color of it? Say, for example, this one the background color is gray. You want it to be white, you can set it white. I think white looks good, right? So we will skip the white and then the size. If it is 100%, or if you want to increase, it is increasing it. If you want to reduce, you can reduce it there. Let me want 10%. Okay. And then the scale level 2. Um, I made a video about this one decomposition tree. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Scale to level, level maximum. Level maximum is within this category, is the level maximum. And top node refers to the profit, just the starting point of decomposition tree. And then the parent node is for subcategory, category the parent, for category, region is a parent, for regions, segment is a parent. This is a parent, okay. So, level maximum looks good on all this visual, and then the category labels. If you want to change the font, say you can change that. If you want, if you want to create the font size, you can increase this one. These are category labels, okay. If you want to change the font color as well, you can change that. It's turned to be blue, it will be black. Okay, and then the data labels is nothing but the values which is showing it here. If you want to change the font family, you can change that. If you want to change the font size, you can change that. Even you can change the font color as well. You want to make it black, that is black, and how you want to show the display units. In thousands or in none or in million or billion or trillions, you can change that. If you want to add the decimal, you can add the decimal here and level header. Level header is the highlighted in green here. If you want to make it the same as per theme, you can change that. If you want to change something else, you can, you can do that. Okay, and then title font family. And what is the family you want in title font? If you want to check it. Something else you can use that. This looks cool. They have how they have given the features here, and then title font size, title font color. If you want to show the subtitle, the thing what we have selected here. Corporate best furniture. You want to go on or off? Better to be on. And in that, also you can change the font if you want. This is just beautiful setups they have given here in decomposition. 
and then the next is the title this is as usual in all the visuals one the title word drive font color background color alignment text size font family this as usual and then the background color if you want to change the background you can change that and you can set the transparency of it you want to make it to be 100% transparent this doesn't look nice let it be 50 so we just give the separate headlines for the main category and then lock expert ratio this general for the positions and border if you want to keep the border of it you can keep that visual hazard is as usual so these are some awesome features they have given in this December release of the Power BI desktop I really like this many of the people have liked this decomposition tree and they have given plenty of updates in this release I hope you enjoyed this feature if you like this video please click on the big thumbs up button and if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification also share it with your friends and colleagues and get the feedback from them post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video